Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And if you're already subscribed, as always, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Hopefully you all check out my current giveaway that's going on. It is to win your very, very own summer Oceanista box. I will leave the link for that above. And then of course, also below where I leave all of the links to, for example, my Instagram as well as any promo codes or links that I might have for any of the boxes that I open here on the channel. Today I've got one of the favorite boxes on the channel which is Hugo Box. I still am getting the standard edition which is $28 plus $10 in shipping per month. They also have a deluxe version which is $39.95 plus about $12 in shipping per month and I will be eventually upgrading to that in a couple of months just because you guys said that you did want to see me open that full version so I will be upgrading to that and show Showing you the deluxe version for at least a few months and we'll see how it goes. Now let's get into our standard edition. This is always a complete surprise. They don't do any spoilers even though they are pretty active on social media but it's all sort of to give you that idea of what Huga is all about and it is the Danish concept of coziness, of feeling that sense of warmth and comfort. So I've definitely been curious to see how they create that sense of Huga or Hugelig during the summer months. So we'll see what we've got. They always have this very pretty. Uh, sometimes it's like a postcard, this time it's more like a graphic design, this square card, and on the back it tells us all about sort of the theme for the month as well as the products. And it does say in the bottom paragraph what the deluxe box includes that we would not get in this standard edition. So it looks like the theme is planting sunshine, which I like. It says every summer is a new story and this one will be memorable. Breathe in deeply and savor the smells of summer, the earthly scent of soil, the sweet sweet fragrance of flowers and newly mown grass. Dare to dream and who knows where it could lead you. Create a space for magic. Only you can make it happen. And it comes in many forms, helping nature to return after a long absence, breathing life into a forgotten room, weaving words to tell the shortest of stories while sharing a meal. It's there in your imagination, just waiting to be set free. So that is so awesome. It does look like they gave us uh, the items in bold, so it should be a little bit easier for me to find, hopefully. Um, and then just to let you know, the deluxe box, what they got that we did not this time, is says shelter in place means more meals at home. Cozy up to the table setting with this gorgeous set of delicate foliage dinner napkins and we were when we are able to get closer again let's promise to be grateful for sharing meals with our favorite people that's a sweet sentiment and I definitely see that kind of theme of coming together and enjoying our time in communion with one another that's definitely a theme that does seem to be emerging not just because of the summer months but of course because we are all emerging and hopefully doing it safely from this crazy pandemic that has changed all of our lives uh, for the last three months and probably forever now I am noticing that they have switched up their tissue paper. So it looks like they change up their tissue paper maybe every season. Um, we've had one that kind of looked like birds. And then even before that, we had one that was kind of a wintry scene with pine trees. And I love that this one has like a pop of color and it kind of looks like hummingbirds. So I'm excited to see what we've got in this box. I'm not too sad about uh, the dinner napkins not being in this box because I live in a really small apartment and we aren't really having uh, gatherings of having family or friends over at the moment. I have a dining room table for two, so it wouldn't necessarily be something that I could use in this current moment, hopefully someday. So I'm just gonna get rid of some of the foozles and get them out of the way. The foozles are what I call the uh, paper shred. I think I heard that like a long time ago and it's just kind of stuck with me. So you can see all of the items that are nestled in here. I do really, really like that tissue paper. Let me move those uh, squigglies off to the side. So the first thing that I am seeing is something that you guys know I get in so many boxes. I will tell you that the Hugo box always says that they give you some edible indulgences as well as an element of light. So that means we get a lot of tea because it gives you that sense of coziness and warmth. We get a lot of candles and I love both of those things, although I do have an abundance of tea at the moment. So the tea that we got this time is from Tea Pigs and it is a cold brew cucumber and apple tea. 
tea. So there is the top there. Let's see what it says. It says summer isn't summer without iced tea. Tea pigs all natural cucumber and apple cold brew infusion has been specially made to brew quickly in cold water. Simply pop one in your water bottle or cup and that's it. A super cooling and refreshing blend that's also naturally caffeine free. Get your two liters a day. Getting your two liters a day has never been easier or more delicious. Want more? Order two cold brews and get a third for free with the code HUGA. That's awesome. So they gave us a little coupon code. I love that, that you don't have to necessarily steep it in hot water and it's just really kind of a nice water flavoring. And I think whenever you can get like cucumber water, it always reminds me of like fancy resorts where they have that to sort of refresh you when you first arrive. So let's see, I'm just gonna open it up. And it looks like it does have like a bunch of those nice mesh bags inside. Let's see if it tells me exactly how many. So cucumber and apple sounds really great to me. It says that there are actually 10 tea temples in here. So little triangular bags. So that's awesome. Um, very excited to try that. And it seems like something I will actually use during the summer months. So even though it is tea, I'm happy to give it a shot. All right, let's see what else we've got. This is fun. So this is a Maui kiss. And some of you know from my channel name that I grew up in Hawaii and I actually grew up on the island of Maui. So I love anything that has to do with the islands because I miss them so, so much. So this is the Maui kiss Hawaiian loofah soap in this gorgeous coral color. Let me see if I can find some information about that. Speaking of tropical things, your senses will be pleased with Maui kiss loofah soap. It's amazing. Handcrafted with Pacific Ocean sea salt and kukui oil, this tropical loofah inside each soap is rich lathering and a great exfoliating body scrub and cleanser. No phthalates and 100% vegan. So you can kind of see that loofah that's in there. So you have a little built-in exfoliator. Again, I love the color. It says that it's made with fresh aloha. Um, I'm wondering, it says it's sea salt and kukui. So kukui is um, the candle nut. So you've probably seen the lays that are made out of it. It's just like a black, almost like big seed or nut. And it's because they have a lot of oil in them. And so they would actually put those on um, sticks and you could actually light them. So that's why it's called the candle nut. So it's definitely got some moisturizing properties is what I would imagine. Um, let me see, I, they are showing like a grapefruit along the side. So I'm wondering if that's the scent. I am smelling a little bit of citrus and I love, it says that it's made uh, right in Kahului, which is where the airport is in Maui. So I'm definitely gonna have to look this company up. So um, of course, I'm very, very happy to support any Hawaii business, especially any business that is from my home island of Maui. So I'm super excited to get something from Maui in a Huga box. All right, let's see what else we've got. The next thing is also looking very tropical. It is a pineapple mango cake from Noosh or yeah, I'm guessing it's Noosh. So it's got the little umlaut over it. You guys know I love a diacritic mark because I've got them in my name, the little two dots, which makes that cute little happy face. Let's see what it says about this. We've been dreaming about a vacation on a tropical island and while it may be some time before it becomes a reality, our taste buds have been able to take that journey with Noosh pineapple mango cake, a new kind of baked snack that will help get you off the sugar and carb roller coaster by satisfying your appetite with protein, fiber, and balanced fats. It's so fruity that if you close your eyes while chewing, it might just take you into the tropics. So I love snacks in boxes for sure. I love the edible indulgences. Um, I definitely appreciate when they're healthy. Hopefully it's also delicious, but it's not like the prettiest thing. You can kind of see it just looks like a little brown cake. Um, we'll see how pretty I can make it look over on Instagram. That's where I usually do a lot of my product close-ups and I do love to do some food photography. So I'll do my best with that, you guys. And you can tell me what you think when it finally appears over there. Let's see, here is the candle that we probably anticipated and it says summer hug. And on this little candle, it says just living is not enough. One must have sunshine, freedom, and a little flower. So it's just kind of like a big tea candle in this little glass votive. And it's very simple. It's like the candle goes right up to the edge on this. So let's see what it has to say about this. How wonderful it is to be living in the here and now, and then a scent and aroma can cause the soul to time travel. If you've ever spent a summer in the Southern US, you'll recognize the floral honey sweet aroma of our summer house candle, this soft, dreamy scent opens with top notes of lemon and ginger before giving way to a heart of jasmine and honeysuckle with hints of violet powder and amorous that mingle with wood notes in the base a must-have scent for home during the spring and summer season so let me get this give it a smell 
So I am definitely smelling like that. Did they say amber? Because I'm smelling amber. Maybe it's the jasmine and violet. So I'm definitely smelling that. I'm not getting a lot of the lemon and ginger that they said at the top. But I do think that it smells springy, even though it does have a lot of depth to it. It has like a little spice to it. It still seems like an appropriate summer scent. And it's always just nice to have different candle scents rotating through your house. So happy to have that. And then I think we've got maybe one more item in this box. And it is a, looks like a little towel. So this is cute. So I'm trying to get all of the paper shred off of it because of course it likes to stick to anything that is material. So this is by Danica Studio and it is a hammam towel and just says that it's a serviette, which is interesting because I know that they got napkins in the deluxe box, but I do like the pattern on it. So you can see these little like gray and cream um, diamonds and then it's got this fun fringe. So this is interesting. We'll see what it says about this guy. So it says, because we're all washing our hands a lot more these days, a new hand towel is welcomed, made from 100% cotton that are twill woven together for added depth, durability, and gorgeous drape. This hammam towel features a beautiful diamond and stripe design, making it perfect for an array of interior decor styles. Highly absorbent, lightweight, and dries quickly. So um, it makes me think of a Turkish towel, obviously, and I can definitely use a nice hand towel. This is a really great quality. It feels very very soft you can definitely um, see that the pattern is woven into it um, it doesn't really have like a sheen to it but it is a lot softer than the many dish towels that we get it does have like a little um, safety pin here keeping it all rolled up so besides that fun kind of cord so I'm gonna pull this safety pin up so that we can see the actual size of this because right now so it's almost like it looks like a table runner to me um, but it actually opens up so I love this it's got those that diamond pattern that I showed you guys which is very tiny and then it's got this stripe pattern here in the middle and then it goes back to the diamond pattern at the end so it's like a really big placemat here so you can see so that is a good size probably like 18 inches across and maybe like um, two and a half feet this way so it'll definitely be a good dish towel it'll definitely do that nice fold over the uh, oven bar that's usually where my dish towels wind up but I do love the color very neutral I love a good gray and cream so this is really nice and again the quality feels really great in this so I will say this is not necessarily my favorite Hugo box but it definitely has items that I will use every single one of them. This is probably my favorite item in the box just because of the color and the quality that I'm feeling. I do wish that Huga Box is because they don't do any spoilers. I do wish that they would give us the retail values or even just the total retail value of the box. I definitely think that it was worth my $28 and even the $10 in shipping. I don't think it's a box necessarily where you're going to get like five or ten times your value, but I will use all of these items. I think they're beautiful and usable and that's really what I'm looking for in any subscription box. I love that they gave us a little variety with the tea so it's not a hot tea it's a tea that you can just slip into your water bottle so that you can hydrate and feel a little bit of refreshment. We get a lot of candles I think I would like to see a little bit more variety in the candles but I always appreciate them and I will always use them. I love this soap just for the color and the uniqueness and of course because it is from my home island and then we'll see about this. The idea sounds great like a Pineapple mango cake sounds delicious, but then they also told us that it's like not bad for us because it doesn't have any sugars in it. So you have to balance, right, between the things that are good for you and the things that really do kind of feel like an indulgence. Um, but I'll definitely give it a shot and I will definitely tell you guys over on Instagram what I think about this item. Let me know what you guys think about this particular Huga box, what your favorite item was, how you would celebrate or sort of evoke that idea of Huga in your summer lifestyle. And hopefully I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing. Until then, take care.